Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Let's have a look at how we create a real-time clock. We need four assets to do this. A clock face and a second, minute and hour hand. Start by dragging the clock face into the scene. We could rename it to just clock and we also have to scale it to something like 0.65. And let's also change the background to just straight black. Now drag the hour hand into the scene. We have to we have to scale that as well. 0 0.65 and 0 0.65. And let's drag it inside the clock game object. Now for the minute hand. Same thing, we have to scale it and drag it inside the clock game object. The last one is the second hand. We just drag it in and scale it to 0 0.65 and 0 0.65. Now we have to drag both the hands into the clock object. The order of the assets is not that good. We have to change that. So we select the clock and Set the order to 0, and the hour hand to 1, and the minute hand to 2, and the second hand to 3. Now it's perfect. It's time to do some scripting. Create a C sharp script. We could call it clock. And drag the clock script up to the clock game object. Double click to open Visual Studio. We don't need the first part of the script, so we just delete that. Let's create some variables. First one is public game object, second hand, and we just duplicate that and change it to a minute hand and hour hand. Back in Unity, we now have to connect the game object to the script. Drag the second hand to the second hand text field and the minute hand to the minute hand text field and the hour hand to the hour hand text field. Now the game objects are connected to the script. We need to create one more variable. We create a string and name it old seconds. Now it's time to play with the date time object. We will create a new string and call it seconds and that equals to system.datetime.utcnow.toString and inside the toString brackets we type ss for seconds. Okay, let's output this to the console window and see what happens. It looks cool. We now have data for the seconds. But we don't really want to update the clock every frame. We only want to update the clock when the time has changed. So let's make a new if statement. If seconds is different from old seconds, then update timer. And of course we have to create a update timer method as well. Before we dive into that, we just have to update the old seconds. Old seconds equals to seconds semicolon. And we could now move the print seconds line down to the update timer method. In order to rotate the hands, we need a number. So we have to convert the string to an int. We do that by making a new int. We call that int seconds int equals to an int pass. And then we just copy the line from before and put it inside the pass brackets. 
we can now copy the second int and put it inside the print sentence. Let's have a look in Unity and see how it works. It looks really, really good. It's a new number every second. Now we can just duplicate the line and change the seconds to minutes, minutes in, and the string to mm. Do the same thing for the hour, hour int, and the string to hh. Let's update the print line so we can have a look in Unity and see if everything is all right. It looks quite good in Unity, but we have a small problem with the hour. The time is now three o'clock and the code outputs two. That's not good. To change that, we have to use the to local time method. We use it right after UTC now. To local time and brackets, and that should be it. This looks perfect. We now have the correct time inside our script. Now, let's rotate the hands. We will use the iTween tool for that. iTween is a free tool you can download from the Unity Asset Store. I will cover iTween in details in another tutorial. Let's write the rotate script. iTween dot rotate two, and then we have to define the game object that will be second hand, and iTween hash, and the hash is the parameters for the tween. We will animate on the c axis, and we will use the value seconds int. We have to multiply the seconds with six to get the correct value in degrees. Next parameter is time, and we will just do that in one second. We can define what kind of ease we will use, and it's called ease type. And for this one, we will go for the ease out quint. Let's have a look in Unity and see how it works. The tween looks fine, but it's in the wrong direction. We can easily change that by multiply by minus one. Let's test again in Unity. Way looks really cool. We can now duplicate the second line, and we will change that to minutes. So minutes int and minute hand. We would also like to change the ease type. Instead of ease out quint, we will use the ease out elastic. Let's have a look in Unity again. Ding! Beautiful. The rotation of the hour hand is a little bit more tricky. We have to calculate the distance between the hours. Let's make a new float. We call that float hour distance, and that equals to the float value of minutes int divided by 60. Now, let's copy the minutes line and paste it here. We have to change the hour hand, and we change the rotation value to hours int plus hours distance times 360 divided by 12 multiplied by minus one. Let's check in Unity. Whoa, there was an error. I was a little bit too fast. We are missing a multiple sign. Here we go again, and let's check again. Whoa, looks beautiful. Let's maximize it. Looking good. That was all. See you again soon for another Unity tutorial.